Hello everybody, uh, today's educational video will be about curcumin. I truly believe that curcumin is a natural wonder drug. It has so many benefits, so I had to create two video clips about it. The part one will be about the commonly known benefits and the part two will be about its anti-cancer properties. Um, before I continue, I have to show you that in my blog, which is my first name and last name.com, robertgedeman.com, I have articles about how to fight um, diseases, with, diseases with the natural compounds. And here under the, my post, you can find the articles about curcumin and the science behind it. So let's go back to the slide deck. So what is curcumin? Curcumin is the key ingredient in the spice turmeric. But the most people don't know that um, only 2 to 3% of turmeric is actually curcumin. I have good friends with good intentions, eat one or two teaspoons of turmeric per day, not knowing that, that they're only getting very small amount of curcumin. And I'm also gonna explain in this video clip that but your body has difficulties to absorb curcumin. So if the two, three percent of the turmeric is curcumin and your body has a hard time to absorb it, basically you're not getting any curcumin in your body and hardly any clinical benefit. So what are the common, um, commonly known benefits of curcumin? It's, uh, most people, are, most of you know that it's good for inflammation for your joint or body, but it has also other benefits, which is uh, anti-inflammatory, anti-arthritis, even antioxidant, and uh, most importantly, maybe anti-cancer properties, which I'm gonna explain in my next video clip. But before I talk about the clinical benefits and how curcumin works, I have to bring up a very important fact, and is that, uh, as I mentioned before, curcumin is hard to absorb. Unfortunately, our body is, has difficulties to absorb curcumin, so just eating curcumin will not help you, I will not provide the amount of curcumin that you need to get the clinical benefits. And I've done my research, and there are two formulations on the market. One is with Meriva, and the other one with uh, nanoparticle format of. Uh, curcumin, and they have done uh, studies in human beings showing that um, the amount of curcumin in the body, and so I believe that uh, since they have their science out there, I'm kind of, I only recommend to use these two formulations because they have clinical data proving that it can be absorbed, because there was a lot of other formulations with pepper and other stuff that's on the, on, online, but they could not find any clinical studies to back up their claims. So how does curcumin works? Um, in order to explain that, I have to educate you a little bit about this arachidonic acid cascade, which is the very bad cycle in the body, is the evil in the body, creates links to many diseases. From here, you can see I have listed depending which pathway it goes. It can create cancer, it can create the rheumatoid arthritis. And the way curcumin works it, is that it blocks the Cox and the Lux pathway. That's why if, it's, if, you, if it blocks the cox, it prevents the rheumatoid arthritis. If it prevents the lux, it create, uh, prevents the inflammation and cancer. And you can read more about the science behind it in, in my blog, in the article that I have in my blog. And so just to give a bullet point format, uh, it has uh, curcumin as anti-inflammatory activities, by, as I mentioned, by blocking cox and lux. And uh, Cox and Lux also are you know, a link to the arthritis, so it has benefits for arthritis. It also, to my surprise, has had benefit as antioxidant benefits. And I've explained here how it works. And here they've done actually a clinical study in humans, a double blind study, showing that the people have less aches and discomfort uh, by digesting curcumin. Here I'm gonna end, uh, hopefully you find it helpful. Again, remember, that you, all formulations of curcumin will not be absorbed. So find them by the ones that I mentioned so you can get the amount of curcumin that your body need, needs. And uh, in my next um, video clip, I'm gonna explain more about these anti-cancer properties. Okay, hope you find this helpful. God bless, bye.